Tom, a big night ahead in Tala. How are you feeling ahead of us? Not nah, really good. Uh, obviously got the positive result last week and as soon as we finished the game there was no celebrations. We were fo fully focused on getting the job done for tomorrow so the lads are really looking forward to it and we're just waiting to get going now. Yeah, a famous night last week in Bulgaria. What's your memories of it? Uh, just the performance from everyone, even just like the subs coming on. I think we were solid and we were dangerous on the counter attack. So we're looking to bring a lot of aspects of what we've done last week into tomorrow and hopefully get the job done. As a defender, you must have been very happy to be a part of the clean sheet, which allows you know the attacking end of the team and, and Serge coming on to get the late winner. But I know even Tim's comments afterwards talking about the clean sheet, not just last week but the previous week as well in Murrah. Yeah, I mean the last two games have showed like going to two two tough venues away in Europe and getting two clean sheets, like we've been looked really solid. So that's what good teams have to be, have to be solid and hopefully the nick a goal like we did last week. So definitely look to bring that into this game again. What was your view of Serge Atakai's goal and how far did you sprint to celebrate with him? Just about made it to be honest. <laughs> it took me a while to get up the pitch in the eighty seventh, but uh now nah, what a feeling when he put it in the back of the net and you see in the scenes when he scored and but then straight away you're thinking there's two minutes to go like it's all for nothing if we go and concede in the last two minutes so nah, what a feeling but we're just glad the final whistle was an even better feeling Yeah, halfway point in the tie 1-0 up so it's all to play for in the second leg what's your thoughts ahead of tomorrow evening what do, do you expect from the game the atmosphere of the opposition No, nah, I was expecting an a unbelievable atmosphere I mean the, the tickets that were sold and, and tell obviously we want to be in Richmond but to be here and see how many fans are going to be here. I can't wait for the atmosphere and hopefully we can just carry out the game plan like we did last, last week and uh, go one step further in the competition. I know when you signed people told you about St Pat's as a club and as a community and the supporters and how the club kind of works but you know nights like Thursday and the nights we've had in Richmond will show that given that this is, isn't even St Pat's Stadium it's owned by South Dublin County Council and there's going to be close to 7,000 if not 7,000 people here to cheer you on. Yeah, definitely. I mean, in the first against Mora, like there was only two thousand, two thousand eight hundred, was it there? And it was, it was loud, and it, it gave us a massive boost. So you're thinking there's going to be in the close to seven thousand here. It's going, it's going to be unbelievable. So really looking forward to the atmosphere and the game, and yeah, I can't wait. And fair to say, finally, these are the type of games that footballers want to play, and that you've come to the League of Ireland to play, and so all systems go for what will hopefully be another famous night. Yeah, definitely. These are the games that you want to be involved in. I mean, the last the last three games have went nearly well for us, so hopefully we can carry on the run and go as far as we can.